in this video uh, I would like to give uh, some uh, answers to quizzes uh, but before I have to tell some words about genetic diversity and biodiversity studies if you want to carry out studies uh, regarding this field you must develop what uh, we uh, say tools tools that uh, are your second A and these tools are molecular markers these molecular markers could be uh, protein markers could be iso enzymes uh, these are enzymes that catalyze the same reaction but they are different in some physical chemical characters and also you have DNA and RNA molecules that can sit you uh, molecular markers. In this uh, last field, we uh, can distinguish markers based on restriction. Restriction, you know, we cut DNA with restriction enzyme and we obtain fragments of DNA and uh, we uh, obtain what we call RFLP markers. RFLP markers, restriction fragment length polymorphism. And in another and we can, instead of cutting DNA, we can read it, amplify it with uh, PCR, PCR polymerase chain reaction. And in this field, we have many, many other uh, markers based on PCR. For example, we can have RAPD. RAPD uh, is the random amplified polymorphic DNA, where DNA uh, will be amplified uh, randomly and uh, we can also have markers based on PCR such as uh, uh, microsatellites uh, which are called SSR or many other uh, markers you want. The last thing that I uh, would like to speak about is uh, if you want to develop all these markers you have to know what is electrophoresis. What is electrophoresis? Electrophoresis, as you know, it is a technique that separates molecules. In this video, I would like to give some answers to the last quiz, which is choose from the list of the following words those that are suitable to fill in the gaps. And you must write in capital letters and respect the space. You choose to study genetic diversity of a species in your country and you prefer to use isozyme markers than RAPD, which is based on PCR as you know, because isozyme markers are stable, codominant, abundant or dominant. Which characters can you choose? We have to choose codominant character of the isozyme markers compared to the RAPD markers, which are not codominant, they are dominant markers. Enzyme electrophoresis separates molecules on the basis of their polarity or size plus electrical charge or form plus electrical charge or electrical charge or just form. Azozymes are separated uh, regarding to their size plus electrical charge. Size plus electrical charge, which it can be right in the gap. However, when treated with or by SDS and unique detergents, they lost their activities, these isozymes, these enzymes, and uh, migrate on the basis of their polarity or size plus electrical charge or form or what. They will migrate this fold on the basis of their size, only their size, on the basis of their size because they are all will be all charged negatively and only uh, the size separates between the molecules. If isozymes present an electrical point PE, PI, uh, is an electric point, about 10, they will be charged uh, negatively, positively neutral on a gel of a pH 8.8. 8. 
So, in this situation, you will have a molecule charged, electrically charged, positively, because they are in a medium uh, on a well with H8.8, and they are a basic, very basic proteins. And they migrate in this situation uh, toward the, uh, the cathode or the anode. If they are positively, they will migrate to minus to cathode. Cathode. So I have to write here cathode. In this situation, if I perform a vertical electrophoresis, I must fix the anode at the top or the bottom of the gel of the electrophoresis tank. My proteins, my isoenzyme, uh, will migrate toward the cathode. They migrate toward the cathode. So I have to put the at the top the anode anode must be at the top at the top of the electrophoresis tank the electrophoresis apparatus once the electrophoresis is complete i must stain the gel with acetylbromide antibodies comasi blue bromophenol blue or substrates i will use substrates i have to choose substrate to reveal isozymes on the gel this is the technique According to my result, uh, results is regarding uh, separation of GOT isozymes. GOT isozymes are glutamate oxaloastate transaminases, and these enzymes are separated uh, according to their charge and their uh, size also on a gel. Um, and we found pictures like this one uh, regarding locus GOT2. We have one band and we have three band. One band at the bottom, one band at the top, uh, as it is uh, here on this picture. According to my results, go to locus code for enzyme, which is monomeric, dimeric, or tetrameric. According to these results, regarding these results, one band and three banded patterns, we can uh, say that the molecules, the enzyme is under, uh, is, has a structure uh, which is dimeric, dimeric structure, it is a dimeric, dimeric, uh, two subunits, uh, with how many alleles, uh, how many alleles we have, just one and three band, that uh, is uh, uh, two alleles, only two alleles, which could be alleles, uh, here and allele B uh, uh, in the locus to go to, they will give these alleles genotypes leading to how many genotypes? Two, three, four, six. They give rise to three, three genotypes A, A, B, B, A, A, like here, like here, and A, B, uh, triple band and like here also. They are heterozygotes here. And the isoenzyme based heterozygosity of these populations, uh, what is the heterozygosity? It is uh, um, simply the number of heterozygotes uh, on the total number of the individuals, which are 20 individuals. 20 individuals and uh, count the calculation will give 0.45 as heterozygosity of this population. The frequency of the allele appearing at the first isoenzyme is the allele frequency of the fast, fast uh, enzyme. Fast enzyme is uh, at the bottom. Huh? So uh, this frequency, if you can, you first you have you, you you make calculation will give size about 0 